my favorite kind of video. We're gonna sit down and play with some new makeup that I've been excited to play with. A lot of this is from PR for my PR bucks that I wanna get through that I'm excited to try. But I also tried a couple items that I purchased as well. Just new makeup that I'm excited about. We got this really fun Halloween-y kind of look. It, it turned out really good, such a special look. We used items from the new ColourPop Hocus Pocus 2 collection. I finally tried the Natasha Denona My Dream Cheek Trio, new Tower 28 liners. Just lots of good stuff, a new indie brand that I'm excited to play with. Just a lot of fun stuff to share with you. But before we get into that, I want to thank today's sponsor for today's video, which is going to be Be Hairful. And Be Hairful is responsible for these nice, defined, tight curls, which I never have. And it's thanks to the Be Hairful hairbrush. Okay, we need to talk about this because Wow, if you have never used a brush to brush style, especially if you have wavy or curly hair, you're gonna wanna watch this. So your Be Hairful brush is gonna come in a nice box. And here's the hairbrush. I think it's really important to invest in a good hairbrush because you will literally use it your whole life. My mom is still using the same hairbrushes that she used when I was a kid. So a brush like this is a great investment and it's gonna be great for all hair types, short, long, coarse, fine. Even if you have extensions, it's going to work. And it's really, really easy to use. So what's special about it is the brush itself is a combination of nylon and boar bristles, which is going to help detangle your hair effortlessly, literally in half the time as a normal hairbrush, which is important because girl, I get the worst tangles in my hair and this doesn't tug on the hair when it detangles. It doesn't pull out my hair. And then the boar bristles as well are going to help reduce frizz, which the proof is in the pudding. I always have frizzy hair. So this is the least frizzy it's been in a while. <laughs> and then it's also going to minimize breakage because the boar bristles are going to distribute your natural oils throughout the hair and then those oils are going to help strengthen the hair and then the nylon bristles help increase blood flow to promote hair growth because the the bristles will work to massage the scalp while detangling hair. Now I like to use this brush specifically to brush style and that's going to help enhance my curl definition similar to that of what a Denman brush would do. So here's a demo of how I like to use it. When my hair is wet I run my curl cream throughout the bottom of my hair and then I'm going to use it first to detangle and you'll see how effortlessly it is working through my hair. I'm moving the oils down and getting all the knots detangling everything out. Then what I'm going to do starting at the root I'm gonna brush my hair down and then I'm literally gonna twist my hair up the handle and then release and that is going to create a curl then you're going to scrunch it a little bit and let your hair air dry like that so I repeated that process of brushing down rolling it up the handle and letting it sit around the more important areas of my head like around my face towards the back I didn't do every single strand of hair but I got the most important parts and that's going to help shape the hair for when it air dries to look like mine and you guys have seen my curls in some pretty funky states when I want my curls to be extra defined I want a long lasting style brush styling is the way to go and because of the bristles of this brush and just the way that it's made it really helps reduce the frizz for that and it's perfect for brush styling so whatever texture or hair you have I recommend you look into what you can do with brush styling and the be hairful is perfect for that they also do offer a a travel size as well which is great obviously one for travel but it's perfect for kids touching up hair on the go it fits in your purse too it's a pretty nice size and also buy both sizes of the detangler in the pro detangler bundle so that is a better deal if you want to get both of the different sizes or give one to a friend so if you didn't know about brush styling, I hope I taught you because it's a really cool technique to get your natural texture to look its best. Uh, so again, a huge thank you to Be Hairful for sponsoring today's video. I will have the link down below for you to check out their brush. And obviously you can see the aftermath of my hair all dry. It looks so good. This is completely air dried and it's going to look good for multiple days as my hair will start to like separate as I sleep. It will grow more volume to it. And if you want more volume initially to begin with, you can also brush from the root and that will increase volume as well because everybody has different hair needs. When you purchase on BeHairfulBrush.com, make sure you use my promo code MORGAN for 15% off of your order as well as free shipping worldwide on all orders. But anyways, thank you. Be
careful, let's go ahead and get into the makeup for today. Y'all, I cannot wait to get some coverage on my face. Um, guess who's been picking at her face? <laughs> Okay, anyways, so I have this primer from Laura Mercier that I've never tried before. It's not a new item on the market, but it's new to me. I grabbed it out of my PR box, and you guys know I love Laura Mercier. This is the Pure Canvas Primer, the illuminating one. I loved their original Pure Canvas Primer. Oh my gosh, I remember wearing it in like ninth grade, 10th grade, which was be when I was like 15, 16. I'm now 26. So anyways, this one throws me back even though it's a newer version. So I'm going to go ahead and try it. Ooh, okay. So I would wear the Laura Mercier original foundation primer with my Bare Minerals mineral powder foundation. It was like the loose one. And I swore up and down that whenever I wore my Bare Minerals powder without the Laura Mercier, it would not last as long. And then whenever I would wear my Laura Mercier foundation primer, the Bare Minerals would last longer. And this was all the way back in high school when I was just learning about makeup. Anyways, this left a really pretty glow to the skin. Okay, it really does have some nice illumination, though I definitely want to get some coverage on because I got some pores showing. But this is very, very nice so far. It doesn't have the most moisturizing feeling that I'm gonna be normally looking for, but it does add a really pretty illumination. Now, surprisingly, no new foundation or concealers to try out, which I think is good so I can really see how the other products wear. So I'm gonna quickly throw on my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. This is the old formulation. I'm just trying to work through it since you guys can't pick it up anymore. Oh, you guys, the old formulation is just so beautiful and skin-like. It's one of my longest lasting foundations in terms of I've always had this in my makeup collection. Not this one specifically, but I've definitely gone through more of these than probably any other foundation. Anyways, I'm so sad I can't get that anymore. <laughs> Let's move on to eyebrows. So I have a new brand that I'm going to try today called Crunchy. They sent me a bunch of stuff from their Line. I love supporting new and smaller cosmetic brands. This is an organic beauty brand, vegan, cruelty-free, gluten-free, non-GMO, toxin-free. Okay, so yeah, like I said, I hadn't heard of the brand before, but they sent me a bunch of stuff and I'm very interested. It's called Crunchy. We're gonna start off with the Nutri Brow Eyebrow Pencil. They come looking like this. I like the packaging, very simple. So let's apply it and see. The eyebrow pencil is made in Germany. Now what I'm noticing, I think because this brand is organic, not the longest lasting lifespan. Like this pencil has a six month lifespan after the first use, which normally I would say they're probably 12 months. Oh, this is really nice, okay. I decided to go for shade four, by the way. It's nice and sharp since this is my first time using it and it's a good ashy color. Yes, it's not too warm, very happy about that. And it's not too creamy, I like it. So far, let's see. I'm gonna use my spoolie now, gonna blend it. I feel like when I do get a little too heavy with this product, it starts to look a little bit chunky looking and messy, but, and you'll see where I use too heavy of a hand. You guys can see that right there. But if I use a light hand, then I really like the consistency of it. So now that I know how to apply it, I feel like the next time I apply, it's gonna be prettier. I'm gonna pop on some eyebrow gel really quickly and clean up under the brows and blend this a little bit. And we'll get right into the eyeshadow already. Okay, so I was really, excited to mess around with these eye products. ColourPop sent over their Hocus Pocus 2 collection, which I'm gonna upset some of you. I'm not really a Hocus Pocus fan. I'm not a Halloween fan in general. Like, sorry. I just don't like Halloween. So this collection didn't speak to me, but I love the colors green and purple together, which is very, very Halloween-y. And so I wanted to use this palette. As you can see, we didn't go very crazy for today's look, but I wanted to hop in for the first time with this guy. And I just think she is so cute. This is a very pretty palette because it has the green and purple neutral colors, true neutrals and cool tone neutrals. Wow. So my least favorite row is the one that I'm using today though, <laughs> but I really like this palette. Just for somebody who does not like Halloween, I love a color palette. 
of Halloween shades. Anyways, I'm gonna use my Kaleidos crease brush and we're gonna start off with Spellbook right here, which is just a great orange transition shade. Just have some concealer on my eyelid to work as my transition colors today. And so this is just gonna go all over the crease. Nothing special here. I don't know what came over me to use orange. I just feel like I've been wearing so many purple looks lately that I wanted to change it up and go orange today. Because if you've been watching my most recent videos, it's been purple looks every single time. Because you know I was gonna go for it again today and I was like, girl, do something different. So now I'm gonna go into Doomed right here, which is a darker orange. Now I haven't used a ton of colors from this palette and normally the mattes from ColourPop are fine. So yeah, I've had a good experience with today's palette. I only used one shimmer for today's look. So I'm gonna have to continue using this palette before I give you my final thoughts on it. But I love the color story and the mattes are blending beautifully. So that's what I can say right now, but normally it's the shimmers that I don't like from the ColourPop palette. So TBD, keep an eye out, make sure you're subscribed this palette will be featured in a monthly palette rankings after I've used it some more and then you'll get kind of the final thoughts after multiple uses doesn't this look nice? This is a good shade as well. Very easy to use, very buildable. We'll probably be going back to that. And then because I'm a neutral girl, we're going to Cometh to Us right here. This is a detailed blending brush from the Sigma and Beauty Bird collection. And I'm just gonna use that to neutralize as well as add some depth to the look. So we're gonna blend this. And then we'll go in probably and add a little bit more orange on top to bring some of the orange back so it's not completely brown because I did actually want more of an orange look today. But I wanted this to add some depth to the look underlying underneath of the orange. That added some nice depth. I'm going back into the dark orange and just patting it right on top so that the orange is back. And then with a refer number three brush, we're going until midnight, which is a black. I'm almost creating kind of like a wing effect right here. I just want some depth out here, just like that. And then I'm gonna go in with a clean brush to blend it out. So once it's there, just smudge it out. Don't worry too much about how it's gonna look because we're gonna apply one of the jelly shadows from this collection all over the eyelid. But this again is just to get that smoke, the Halloween vibe. And we're bringing back some more orange. It looks crazy now, it will come together. They launched three Jelly Much eyeshadows with this collection and I thought they looked really cool. I definitely wanted to use one of these on the eyelids today instead of one of the pressed powdered shimmers. In my opinion, I never give these individual guys enough attention. This is a Jelly Much shadow from the Hocus Pocus 2 collection in Shishka Baby. So I'm just gonna grab from the top here. Now this does have lots of glitters in here and some larger ones. So that's why I kind of wanted this to be the focal point of today's look. Not really too concerned about adding anything else to the eyelid. Wow, I applied a lot more on this eyelid. So let me get over here. You can build it up to get a deeper opacity, just like I just did. Not intentionally, but see, isn't that fun? We're gonna add liner and stuff and it will come together. But I wanted the Jelly Much Shadow to be the focal point of the eye look. And in the last year, ColourPop has really improved their Jelly Much eyeshadows. So I like them a lot. I'm gonna take a wipe and clean up this outer part here. That looks so much better. Better. While that dries, I'm gonna use a mixture of the Iconic London Concealer and the Jaclyn Cosmetics Concealer. Oh wait, no, 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 I lied. Before I do that, I'm going in with a small brush and we're going into Candle is a Light. And I'm gonna just put this in the inner corner to brighten everything up. It has kind of a green tinge to it, but anyways, I wanted to use at least one shimmer from this palette. Okay, I will actually be right back. I already know once we get lashes on, this eye look is gonna be kind of an insane Halloween-ish inspired look. And for being so simple with the extra glitters, which are probably not eye safe in this Jelly Mud shadow, it's so fun. Okay, let me quickly set the under eyes. So I have another product from the Crunchy brand. This is the Translucent Finishing Powder. And one thing to know, it has only a three month shelf life. So this isn't gonna be in my collection very long, but I think that's what you get with organic cosmetics. I'm gonna take some on, oof, we got a lot of like floating into the air. And I'm gonna set this side of my face. A little goes a long way with this powder, holy. Wow, I have to say, I feel like it 
really smooth face. It might be sticking to some dry patches, so I'm gonna use a setting spray, which will clean that up, hopefully. It looks really nice between the set and the unset side, I think. Let's do the other side. Hmm. I mean, I'll have to see how it wears, if there's any flashback, anything like that. But honestly, I think this is a nice powder. It made my skin look really nice and smooth. Ew, my lips look gross. Gross and dry, girl. Okay, anyways, let's finish off the eye makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and go straight into Doomed, the dark orange shade. And we're gonna run this along the entire lower lash line using the same brush. Go into the dark brown shade. And using a little bit of a smaller brush, now we're going into the black. I'm just going to use what was left over on my brush from the first use on the upper eye. And blend. I'm going to grab a small brush. This is an Esam S31. And I'm going into Marvelous, which is a shimmery orange. And I'm going to put that on the inner half of the lower lash line. Ooh, it's a little bit brighter. I feel like it's adhering to the eyelid really nice, which a lot of ColourPop shadows don't. Ooh, I like that. Maybelline sent over a bunch of colors of these Tattoo Studio gel eyeliners, and I was hoping for today's look we'd be able to use one. So, hi, we're going full out with the orange. So this is the Tattoo Studio liner in the shade Orange Flash. It says it's limited edition. I'm gonna use that in my waterline. Okay, let's see if it shows up. Not amazing. I'm gonna have to go over it a few times. Now it might apply differently to the actual eyelid, so I'm not gonna poo-poo on it yet, but I don't love it in the waterline, which is probably how I'd most likely use this product. So I'll use this again on actual skin to see if it applies better, but you do have to go back and forth, back and forth. I mean, it, it's showing, hopefully it lasts a long time. If it lasts a long time, then that will make me like this even more, but it's not perfect. Our organic brand, Crunchy, launched these highliner pencil eyeliners, and I have a black shade, and I just wanna run this really quickly above my upper lash line for when I throw some falsies on. So let's go ahead and do that. It's not the smoothest. I am getting a little bit of drag, but hopefully that just means it's gonna last a really, really long time. So sometimes, you know, if a pencil does drag, a little bit at the very least probably gonna last longer than the ones that are super smooth I gave kind of like a nice semi smudgy smoky line across the lash line which is perfect for today's look let's go ahead and move on with the cheeks and then we'll come back with the eyes I have this bronzer from crunchy this is a solarized bronzer it's quite warm which I think will be very good for today's eye look and here's the back if you need to see and I'm just going to blend this on the outskirts of my face it's very user-friendly, not too pigmented, which I like. It's definitely more warm than I'd prefer for an everyday basis, just this particular shade. I'm sure they have more shades, but this warm shade is going to work for the eye look. For the cooler looks that I do kind of on a more everyday basis, this isn't one that I would reach for very often. But it has a beautiful blend on the skin, no? That's very, very pretty. Okay, and now to play with the product that I've been waiting to play with. This one is not PR. I purchased this myself. It came really, really late. Shipping just took forever. So I finally have it to play with. This is the Natasha Denona Dream Light Cheek Trio. Finally. Now, to be honest, the blush and stuff is not gonna match, but I just really wanna play with it. I don't care. Are you ready? So here is the palette. <gasps> She's so beautiful. Okay, let's play with it. I'm just gonna go in with my finger first with the cream blush right here, which feels like it's a powder, honestly. And yeah, it does not go with my makeup at all, but we don't care. Ooh, it has like a dry feel to it. I really wouldn't consider that to be too much of a cream. I'm gonna go in with a BK Beauty brush. I'm just applying it. Honestly, it applies like a powder. I've played a lot with Natasha Denona's formulas and normally her cream blushes have a little bit more creaminess to it. This feels like a really nice soft touch powder, almost like a soft matte touch. I really wouldn't consider this to be a cream. Anyways, it's very pretty. There also is a glow cream base. So this one feels more actual creamy than the blush. Ooh, okay, let's try this. I do have powder down, so hopefully it doesn't act funny. This is pretty. Oh, I like this. And it's not disrupting the makeup underneath either. 
I like that. Okay, okay, I know this is technically like a really late review. This collection is old news at this point with how much holiday releases we are getting. I've still been waiting for the opportunity to play with this on camera. Okay, stunning. And then finally, let's do the Dream Glow. These are all very interesting textures. I think this is a powder, it's very creamy feeling. Like this feels like it could be a cream. I'm gonna put it on top of the glow base, which is gonna make it shine. Natasha Denona loves to layer the textures on the cheeks. The highlights in here are super impressive. I prefer them over the blush. That's so pretty. Okay, I'm excited about that. Finally, got to play with it. I'm gonna play with a new setting spray because I feel like my face looks a tad dry. So I'm gonna use the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist setting mist, which I've never tried before. This was in my PR drawer, so good opportunity to use it. Mmm, it has a nice soft scent to it. That instantly cured the dryness on my face. My face has so much more moisture to it. For mascara, I put out the Laura Mercier Caviar Volume Mascara. Yeah, I just haven't tried this mascara before, so let's give it a go. So I'm gonna pay attention to how it applies to my lower lashes, because that's mostly what matters since we're going in with falsies, but the problem is this brush is too big for my lower lashes. So I don't think I'm gonna get on with this mascara too much. I just have the whittlest, biddlest, tiniest lower lashes so me and big wands don't get along especially since i mostly wear false lashes if i want my lashes to be seen so the work that they put in on the lower lashes are so so important okay after putting in some work it did give us a little bit of volume it's gonna take me a few uses before i can actually give my opinion on this mascara it normally takes me a while to get a feel for mascaras but it's okay it's just not super functional for my tiny little lashes but that's not the brush's fault my lashes are very special so I'm gonna pop on these velour lashes in cloud nine that I've been wearing a lot recently And then we're gonna finish with the lips once the lashes are on you guys are gonna be like dang You're beautiful. Okay, beautiful, right? Like this look Beautiful. I love the unsafe eye glitters on the eyes. I just think it's so fun for Halloween Okay for lips. I wanted to do like a dark brown lip. So if you didn't know tower 28 launched new lip liners I get to try them. They sent three shades. I'm gonna go with the darkest brown since I'm thinking Halloween fall vibes. So these are the one liner multi liners. Oh, and you can use it for eyes, lips, and face. So kind of like the makeup forever. Huh, I wish I'd known that earlier. Anyways, I'm gonna use the shade Draw Me. So these are not lip liners, they are multi liners which will most likely be used on my lips. Anyways, here's the color. It's a very, very pretty brown. Let's try it out. And wait till you guys see what gloss I'm putting on top of this. Anyways, ooh, okay. It's not too like creamy, but it applies really easily. And that's how I like my pencils. Allows you a lot of control. I mean, I'm less picky about lip pencils than I used to be. I used to be really picky where I wanted like a dry lip pencil like MAC when I was a working makeup artist because it's easier to do people's lips like that and it lasts longer. But now that I just do me, I don't care if it's pencils creamy or not. But I do like this. This would be a good one to put in my makeup kit. Okay, and let's blend. Dark lip is on, it is gorgeous. Check out this lip gloss. So this is from the Hocus Pocus 2 collection. It's the So Glassy Lip Gloss, which is my favorite lip gloss formula from ColourPop in the shade We're Young, and it goes perfectly with my eye look. So I wanted the dark lip liner underneath so that the glitters and color of this can really show through. And the packaging is just so cute. Okay, let's see. Yes. Yes. I wish it was a little bit more orange, but I like the glitters. How fun. Fall. Hello. Okay. 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 Let me get myself together and I will kind of put it all together for you. Here is the final look. It turned out fall, october -y, halloween -y, just as I had wanted it to. So I'm really, really happy with it. I mean, I think I really enjoyed everything that I've tried today. Just a quick rundown. If you want to hear my final thoughts as I use these products more because these were first impressions, make sure you're subscribed to my channel because I do a speed review series where I go over absolutely everything that I've tried. So these are all going in that speed 
speed review drawer and I'm gonna continue testing them a little bit more so it's gonna be a few weeks but really enjoyed the Laura Mercier primer it was really nice gonna have to mess around with these crunchy eyebrow pencils more I don't think I love them really but we'll see again first impressions I'm always gonna give them the benefit of the doubt the eye palette I think I really like but I didn't even get to touch into so many of the colors that I wanted to as well as the shimmer shadows so this is definitely something that I need more time for but the jelly mud shadow I love this I mean I can't wait to use the other shades in this collection there's a purple one and a clear white one I don't know but this is gonna be so fun for this time of year the crunchy translucent powder so good actually it's very very blurring once you get a setting spray over top I can see everywhere that I applied the powder just looks smoother so i'm really liking this powder so far the bronzer was nice just a little bit warm but it works good with warm looks really enjoying the natasha denona my dream cheek trio so far I'm impressed mostly with the highlighters going to continue to mess around with the blush not too sure about the maybelline eyeliner it faded a little bit so i reapplied and it, it's a lot on the eyes for the waterline so i don't think i love it but we'll continue using it don't really love the crunchy eyeliner but we'll see longevity on it because it might be really good for smoky looks and staying a long time not in love with the brush of the laura mercier mascara but you might like it because it did give good volume it's just too big it's hard for me to use but the product itself was really really good so far really enjoying the lip liner from tower 28 it's that nice kind of more waxy feel but it's very easy to apply no drag at all and love this lip gloss with the dark lip liner the this lip combo is the perfect halloween lip combo if you like the dark brown lip liner deal oh and also oh i just hit myself in the face really liking the rare beauty anyways i hope you guys enjoyed today's video just playing with makeup doing what i love to do the most and again a huge thank you to be careful for sponsoring today's video i will have the link down below for you to pick up your next hairbrush it is an investment but i find once you buy a really good brush you'll have it forever so i think a good hairbrush is definitely worth the investment especially this one i mean look at how defined my curls are and when i get my hair like this and it's really defined these curls last multiple days even living in florida my curls will like eventually expand because i have very frizzy hair so brush styling with this brush is really really good for multiple days of wear with my natural hair so i'll have the link down below to purchase from be careful and yeah make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel like this video and i will catch you guys in the next one bye guys have a good one